All right, folks. I'm going to demo this fine old Thomas Perry violin made in Dublin, Ireland in 1801. It's got the firebrand under the button there that says Perry, Dublin. I hope that's coming through there. Beautiful, uh, tight, curly maple, two-piece book-matched back. Sides to match. Top of spruce. Uh, there have been some repairs on this violin. I will not sugarcoat it. Um, all of the repairs were done by myself. I've been uh, working as uh, a violin restoration fellow for uh, the better part of 40 years plus. Um, the violin is in very healthy condition right now, very tight, sounds great, set up very well, carries its original paper label which says Thomas Perry and William Wilkinson, uh, Anglesey Street, um, Dublin, Ireland, 1801. It's also got the catalog number on the label. It's like about four or five digits long. Uh, I don't know uh, exactly how they catalog the violins. Uh, Thomas Perry was a, quite a prolific maker. He is estimated to have made up to 3,000 violins, uh, including cellos, violas, cellos, and basses. Or at least one bass that is known of, as, as far as I know. All the repairs are rock solid on this violin. And... Um, it's ready to go, so I'm going to demonstrate its sound right now. Old Sinico.
<laughs> Bobby. <laughs> well, say hello to my cat, folks. <laughs> well, what are you crabbing about, huh? Yeah, I know you haven't been fed your dinner yet, I know. Here's one called Burt County Breakdown. <laughs> Here's a tune called Grass-Fed Beef that I made up about a year ago. I guess.
righty. There you have it, folks. The Thomas Perry Violin, Dublin, Ireland, 1801. Thanks for listening. Have a great evening.